we don't really do case reviews anymore because, well, if we're being honest, they haven't really changed much lately other than some tempered glass here and some RGB there. But that's not the case with this one. <laughs> this is the Silverstone Mammoth MM01, a spectacularly heavy black monstrosity whose claim to fame is being really difficult to open the box of, is being dust proof and splash proof. So things are about to get wet. Literally, we are gonna spray water on a system in this case with an extreme edition processor running inside it. But you know what we're not gonna spray water on? Brandon, because he deserves better than that, even if he did bung up the audio settings the first time we shot this. Corsair's Obsidian 500D mid-tower gaming case features premium tempered glass and aluminum construction, removable top fan trays, and more. Check it out at the link below. This thing actually launched all the way back in 2015, completely flying under my radar due to its unprecedented level of nicheness. So you could think of the Mammoth as kind of like the off-road edition of what would normally be a computer case, like designed for use in rough conditions. Oh, you know, it's actually not that crazy big, but it's really heavy. Oh my gosh, that's pretty brutal. It is. It's kind of got a plain sort of look to it. Yeah, there's no tempered glass here. That's pretty nice. Yeah. And it's magnetic. Yeah, yeah. It's magnetic. It clips into place like that. The exterior is about as plain black box as you can get. It sports a brushed steel finish, but in the age of tempered glass windows, you'd be forgiven for thinking it's a little boring. But if you look a little closer... The entire top of the case is completely sealed. Right, so no I.O. or fan holes whatsoever up here to keep water from getting in, presumably. And check out these. So this is cool. These front louvers are not an aesthetic feature. Instead, they actually serve to prevent fluids, again, from getting to the internal components of the PC. And flipping it around to the back, you can see it has the same louvers here with a notch at the bottom, check that out, to allow you to get cables to the rear I.O. The design of the Mammoth gives it an impressive IP43 rating, meaning it's safe from not just drips, like if you were to spill a cup of water onto the table next to it, but even water sprays. Now, I wouldn't recommend pressure washing your computer and gaming at the same time, but if you left a window open with the sprinkler running, your computer should be okay. It's just the rest of the room I'd be concerned about. Let's crack it open. Yeah. Oop. Oh my. Here we find the mm ones second party trick, a full fat 20 millimeter thick HEPA filter. Now most fan filters are pretty good at mitigating dust buildup over the short term, but a filter like this is spec to remove 99.97% of particles larger than 0.3 microns. That's smaller than all but the smallest bacteria. So I guess you won't have to worry about your PC getting the flu. Obviously, compared to a regular filter, this one's going to be a little more restrictive. Right, but it looks like Silverstone thought of that because they not only have to push air through one just like that, but also the HEPA filter. And the solution? These babies. Two massive 180 millimeter air penetrator fans. At max speed, which you can control with these knobs at the front, these move a whopping 340 CFM of air about the same as a typical pedestal fan at medium. Pretty darn impressive. Then to top it off, there's actually space to install a rear 120 millimeter fan as well. So while Jake builds up a high-end system for our tests, let's get a little bit of preparation done.
Okay, it's done. You want to see? Yeah, let's have a look. All right. So there are a few things that stand out. A lot of cases these days are basically just the standard layout with a different bezel on the front. Not so here. So first of all, the layout is inverted. So the CPU is on the bottom and the GPU is on top. Second, our power supply actually takes a page out of 2006's book and is up on the top, but still with no ventilation. That's because the whole top was sealed to keep water from getting in, so the power supply actually has to suck air from the inside, then blow it out the back. Fortunately, these fans that we showed you guys at the front should keep it well supplied with fresh air. I'll uh, take a moment here to show you guys this here CPU so heat sink support thing. So there's actually one for both the graphics card and the CPU, which if you think about the applications of this case on, let's say something like a boat, makes a ton of sense. Cause if uh, this PC is a rockin', you don't want your heat sink going a knockin' about on the inside. Because of the design of the filtering system, nearly 40% of the space inside the case is taken up by the filter in the front and the buffer in the rear to prevent water from entering the system. It does limit your cooling options, but even with the relatively limited space, the MMO1 can still fit four dual slot graphics cards and easily houses up to an SSI EEB dual socket motherboard if you're willing to limit your storage expansion to two three and a half inch drives. So this is all good in theory, but we wanna see what kind of thermals we might expect with a high-end system in this case. So you wanna throw the panel on there and I'll get a stress test fired up here. It's actually kind of amazing how much air these fans move through that HEPA filter. Yeah. I mean, they, they are at max speed. Rather than leave it at these settings though, like this is quite loud. Um, I'd wanna go with not minimum, but quiet enough that it probably wouldn't bother anyone. That seems pretty good. And we're still getting like quite a bit of airflow back here. Let's give it some time to heat up. Yeah. Okay, so these are not bad results actually. GPU's turboing up to 1780 or so at its 82 degree maximum. And our CPU has only two cores above 60 degrees, three. Not too shabby. Yeah, I mean, there's an NHD 15 in there. So CPU temperatures are probably expected. Are you ready to run it through the gauntlet? Yeah. Let's do it. All right, so we're here. We're going to do the gauntlet. Linus is a little busy with another video, and I definitely am not doing this for the second time. No, this is never done this test before. Well, let's let's turn her on, get these fans chooching. So there might be a little bit of dust in there, but I kind of have an idea of how much was in there beforehand. Just uh, throw a little dust on there. Get her nice and not nice, I guess. I don't know. I really hope we don't have to do this again because I do not have any dust left. <laughs> All right, so there's actually quite a bit of dust up here. I'm not really sure how that got in there. Okay, so let's, let's turn it off this time and see what's going on inside. I think for the most part, it's gonna be pretty decent, but I imagine there's going to be some leakage. All right, so that is a little more dust than was in there before. So I don't think this system is perfect, but it actually held up pretty good. Regular computer dust is not gonna be an issue for this thing. Maybe don't throw sawdust at it or use it in your wood shop. Okay, so let's see how the filter's doing. Oh no, that's gross. Oh! <laughs> so the attacked side is pretty disgusting, but when we flip it over, pretty damn clean. So. It looks like a little bit of dust got in, but I imagine it's probably just from the cracks around. I don't think dust that big would get through a filter like this. And then on this side, pretty dirty here as well. All right, let's get to the water. Oh my God. You think I should spray it with a hose too? I think we should spray it with the hose. All right. I should probably turn it on before we spray it with the hose. Is it on? Oh! <laughs> I'm like, where, where's the water? I really hope this survives. This is my test bench, actually. 
It would be really inconvenient if this died. I'd be kind of upset, to be honest. There's a little water in there, but for the most part, it looks like it's dry. Wow. Wow, completely dry inside. Sure, there's a little water around the edges, but inside the computer, there's no moisture. I think we should probably test this before I bring Linus over, you know, just in case it doesn't work. <laughs> Display port, okay. Is this monitor even plugged in? Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, it works. Okay, let's, let's get Linus and show him the carnage. Um, so to be honest, I already opened it. <laughs> there is a little bit of dust in there. No what water. The water? Really? No water. I sprayed this thing down good. Ah, you see there's it a bit of intake here. Yeah, yeah, I see that. This side is a little beat up. Yeah, I see that. Wow. But it caught it. Yeah. So yeah, there's a little bit of dust on the panel there. And you can see some of the chunks did make it through, but I mean, compared to what you'd see in a normal case, that is really impressive. I think my dust abuse is a little out of the ordinary as well. Yeah, no, I mean, this is obviously a torture test, but you can see even where the water did manage to penetrate, the design doesn't allow it to go any further than this. Yeah, there's a little splash shield here too. Oh, so it doesn't have the greatest cooling characteristics out of any case we've ever tried, but it's utterly unique in its dust and water resistant design, making it at, what is it, 300 bucks? Yeah. Basically a no brainer if you need a dust and water resistant PC case. FreshBooks is the small business accounting software custom built for how you want to work. It's a simple way to be more productive, more organized, and to get paid faster, allowing you to spend less time fighting with complicated accounting solutions and more time actually working on your business. You can create and send professional looking invoices in less than 30 seconds. You can set up online payments with just a couple clicks to get paid up to four days faster, and you can see when your client has seen your invoice to put an end to the guessing games. For an unrestricted 30-day free trial, just go to freshbooks.com slash tech tips and enter Linus Tech Tips in the How You Heard About Us section. We're gonna have that linked below. So thanks for watching, guys. If you disliked this video, you can hit that button. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link below if you can get your hands on one. These are actually quite difficult to make. Um, and so the production capacity is pretty limited. Uh, while you're down there, you can check out our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one and our community forum.